Well, five years ago, a pickup truck appeared mysteriously on a sandbar in the Ohio River. No one knows how that got there, and it vanished as quickly as it appeared. Well, this time, it's that right there. A camper. How did that get there? Well, Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey uh, joins us now live downtown. Cody? Good evening, Brad. Yeah, that's right. A sandbar on the Ohio River like that in the distance behind us. Not uncommon. Not an uncommon sight, especially this time of the year. However, it's what's on the sandbar that has everybody talking. Don't have any, any clue how they did it. But it's awesome. Residents like John Provost are enjoying the talk of the town, a camper placed in the middle of the Ohio River. And someone said, hey, man, there's a camper out there. And we're like, oh, what a great idea. So uh, we think it's great. We heard about the truck last year, and a lot of people showed up. It's awesome. That's right. This is not the first time this has happened. In September 2017, a similar incident drew Evansville's attention as a truck was placed on a sandbar that mysteriously appeared and just as mysteriously disappeared. Some speculate this is the same individual this time as well. It's not just the adults, even kids like 10-year-old Chloe Wolf are a bit confused too. How do they do that? How do they get a camper from land to in the middle of a lake? Chloe has one theory. Maybe they put a trailer on the boat and they put the camper on the trailer and then they just brought it out here. Or maybe... Magic. Whether magic or a boat, Chloe doesn't see the appeal of camping on the sandbar. You need s'mores, and you need a fire, and you can't do that because if a wave comes or anything, and it's just going to make the fire go. When it comes to taking a sandbar vacation, the votes are split. It'd be great. Yeah, we would, we would do that. With a camper, I'd rather stay on land, not go in the middle of a lake. While the sandbar itself was popular, you just saw there, no one was inside the camper to uh, answer how that got there as well. Of course, that is the question, but what is no question is uh, this is likely going to be a popular spot for boaters here in the Evansville area for the days to come. Reporting live along the Ohio River in Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News. All right, thanks a lot, Cody. I just wonder if there's a big flat screen TV somewhere inside that camper. Thanks a lot for your report tonight. <laughs>